Hello everyone, welcome to the Styrene Syndicate. Um, my name is Gilbert, also known as the Red Dragon to uh, many people uh, here on the YouTube, uh, Facebook communities. I also have a Red Dragon Model Works page right here. Um, and I'm one of four uh, members of, uh, or admins um, to the Styrene Syndicate page and Google Plus community page. Now, the reason I'm making this video here is um, I've been asked many times how, uh, what, um, how and what ingredients I use to make my um, airbrush cleaner. Now, I'll give you a little background on this. I've been doing this airbrushing on and off for many years. Um, started in the late 80s and I gave it up in the mid 90s and I just picked it back up about two years ago. But I've always um, made my own, uh, as far as acrylics is concerned, my own um, airbrush cleaner. So, you know, uh, during hangouts and, and other things, you know, people see me using it and they ask, what's, what's the ratio of what I use and what are the products? Now, this is not to say that to go out, not to go out and buy your own, you know, if you want a store brought, you know, um, cleaner or thinner, you know, for your airbrush, by all means. I mean, if you, you know, if you um, have the money and you want to spend it, by all means, I'm not telling you not to. But if you're like me, every dime counts. And um, if you airbrush a lot, it can get expensive buying the cleaners. Now, what I'm about to show you is great for cleaning your airbrushes. Uh, there's no need to go out and buy someone else's uh, ingredients other than you don't have time to mix your own. But I'm going to show you how to mix your own airbrush cleaner at a fraction of the price. And, and, I, and I've been using it for years. And everybody that I've showed how to use this stuff, uh, this, using this mixture, you can find it on the internet also. But this is just the way I do it. Um, they love it. So if you stick around a second, let me aim this camera right here. And I'll show you exactly how I mix up my airbrush cleaner. Be back in a second. So, like many of you, I I do have store bought cleaners. I have this one here. I won't show you the name, and I also have this one here. They work. You know, there's nothing wrong with these. Let me lower this a little bit, guys. You know, there's nothing wrong with these airbrush cleaners, but I make my own. And I'm going to show you guys using a, um, let me get this little label off, using a 250 ml bottle. I'm going to show you how to make your own. Now for this um, mixture, I'll use a few things. One of them being, you can use one of two, and I use them both. And the, mix, the ratio will be the same. You can either use windshield washer fluid. Or you can use glass plus now here's a myth that a lot and I've spoken to um, folks like at Kenneth Badger um, and a few other you know brothers from Grex airbrushes and a few other people here's a myth that still persists to this day well you know what that's a wrong word back in the early 70s 80s and maybe even the 90s when you'd buy Windex with ammonia, the ammonia was harsh on the seals. It was also harsh on your um, the chrome finish on your airbrushes. That's no longer the case. Now you have solvent-proof seals, um, and the cr the finishes on your on your airbrushes, other than those Chinese Vedas and stuff, are a lot better now. If you get a quality airbrush, meaning a Badger. An Iwata, um, a Grex, or a um, Harder and Steamback. The problem with ammonia, though, is when you're spraying it, you breathe it in, and it's harmful. So, because you're 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 atomizing it. So, that's why I don't use it. So I try to stay with a Glass Plus here that doesn't have ammonia in it. So you can use Glass Plus, or you can use windshield washer fluid. Now. Both are good, but I find this here works a little bit better than the regular windshield washer fluid. So 
but I have different strengths of, uh, of cleaner that I make. I'll make one with glass plus and then my everyday cleaner with um, windshield washer fluid. Now, I bought this at my local store. Cost me $3.99. I've had it for about a year. That's all I've used. I bought this bottle going on uh, a year and a half. Maybe, yeah, about a year and a half ago. And I've only used, well, I've used about two-thirds of it. The other ingredient that you'd want, oh, I'm sorry, and this, this cost me 99 cents at my local gas station. 99 cents. The other ingredient you want, you don't want to use tap water. Because tap water has a lot of um, impurities in it. Unless you have a filter system attached to your faucet. So you can get yourself a bottle of distilled water. This is at, from my local uh, grocery store. Cost me 79 cents. I also add either a drop of fluid in it or I'll drop some glycerin in it. For my cleaner, I won't use the fluid because this stuff is expensive. I'll use a drop of glycerin. Helps coat everything. So, how do I mix up mix it up? Again, for this purpose, I'm going to use, let me get a marker here. I'm going to use a 250 ml bottle. Now, what I like to do, depending on what, if I'm using either the glass plus or the windshield washer fluid. If I'm using the windshield washer fluid, I'll probably go about, um, about half with the windshield washer fluid. If I'm using the glass plus, I'll go right about here. Well, let me see, let me do that again. I'll go right about here, which is, I don't know, about a third for the glass plus, half for the, the windshield washer fluid, then I'll come to about right here with water. So if I'm using the glass plus, it'll be this much glass plus, that much water, and then I'll show you what the other, from here up, you're gonna use this. Now you can use, excuse me, I'm getting a glare off the light here. You can use denatured alcohol or you can use 91% isopropyl. I've always used the 91%, it's a little stronger and helps clear things out a lot better. So I use this here. So let me show you how I mix this up. For this, I'm going to use the windshield washer fluid. So you take your windshield washer fluid, you open up your, whoop, let me get this out of the way. This is again, 250 ml bottle. I have a little funnel there. And for this one, I'm going to use again, the windshield washer fluid. So, I'll go about halfway So it's a 50-50 mix. So there's the windshield washer fluid. I'll come in again with the water. Again, 50-50 mix. Add the isopropyl. And then I'll take, this here is glycerin. You can buy this at any drugstore. This stuff right here, it's really good. You can also use it to coat the, um, the needle. It, uh, it, it, it works just as well as like the Tami or the, the Iwata glue. I wouldn't use, um, it's, a, it's not um, Red Gab or the, the Iwata lube. But it lubes just as well. They, we used to use this back in the early days, man, and, and it, it, it's pretty good. So anyway, I'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, you know what? I'll just squirt it till it comes about to about right there, their neck. And then I'll add, of course, the top. 
Well, before I do that, sorry about that. I usually always cap it with my finger. I give it a quick shake. Mix it all up. And there is your cleaner, guys. That's all it is. That's all there is to it. Now, you can add more alcohol to make it stronger, um, more or less. But this will clean almost everything when it comes to um, your uh, your daily acrylic, you know, to rinse out your airbrush. You don't need fancy smancy airbrush cleaners. You don't need to put people's kids through college, you know, by buying their stuff. For, um, let's see, 99 cents, 89 cents, for under $7, guys, I have made windshield, uh, windshield wash. I have made uh, airbrush cleaner for the last close to going on two years for under $7. The only thing that cost me the most money is this. And I usually buy this um, when I find it on sale. I'll buy three or four of them. And it runs me anywhere from $1.99 to 2 bucks. And as you can see right there, I've probably used uh, a third of this in about two months because I made a, a, a big batch of it. So that's all it takes. That's all you have to do to make a good airbrush cleaner. Now, if you have, if you're using um, lacquers, of course, or you're using enamels, the best way to, uh, you can still use this, but I would uh, suggest you take a little bit of, uh, you can use one of three things. You can use acetone, but that will eat up your, your, your seals. I don't care how solvent proof they are. If you keep using that, eventually it'll eat up your seals. I use it every now and then, but you you clean it out right away. Lacquer thinner, you can take a little uh, pipette, a couple of drops in there, you know, back flush your airbrush, blow it through into a container so you don't breathe it, and then flush with this. What I do, again, I'll use some mineral spirits. I use, um, usually I'll use like a white spirit, or I'll use the, uh, a lacquer thinner if, I, if I've got a real heavy clog and it won't come out. And I'll tell you what, don't let anybody lie to you. Any airbrush cleaner that you buy on the market, I don't care who says it, what they are, they will not always clean a clog up. Sometimes you have to go in there and manually clean out dry paint. Lacquer thinner helps, but you know, if you, daily maintenance on an airbrush, you won't have this problem. If you clean your airbrush out, um, you know, flush it, pull the needle, wipe it, stick it back in, you should never have any problems with, with uh, real bad plugs. Try this out, guys. This works. Um, I know people that use it. I know many, many people that use this or a version of this. This is just the way I make it. So, be back in a second. So, I hope that that um, answers some questions that I get uh, on the Hangouts a lot. Is um, how do you make your uh, your airbrush cleaner? It's this right here. This is what you saw me make. Um, if you got any questions, you can leave them down below or you can uh, contact us at styrenesyndicate at gmail.com right here, styrenesyndicate at gmail.com or you can contact any one of us, either be Cloverleaf Studios, Philby Studios, um, Wingster's Workshop or myself, Red Dragon Model Works, right there. And I'll be more than happy to, uh, to answer your questions. Also, um, you can uh, interact with us on the Google Hangouts. We do them um, every other Saturday. We do a public hangout for uh, the styrene addiction, you know, us with that addiction. Figure painters, uh, car builders, sci-fi, terrain, it doesn't matter. Um, and I also encourage you to join our Google Plus and Facebook pages right here. Styrene Syndicate Google Plus page and the Styrene Syndicate Facebook page. Thank you all for watching. My name is Gilbert. I wish you all peace. You know, uh, stay healthy, um, stay safe, be kind to your families and your children, and build a damn model, brothers and sisters. Sorry. Peace. Till next time. Mm -hmm.